Welcome back to Dirty Water Coins and Collectibles. Right now we're going to be doing a $250 dime hunt, all customer wrapped. And I have $200 in quarters, all customer wrapped. So I'm going to start with the dimes. We'll move into quarters. I'm looking for a silver. I'll scan these quick for um, large errors of varieties. And then move into the quarters let's get going on this hunt be right back all right i just dumped out roll 15 and it looks like right here is a silver i have not checked but the reeded edge looks looks good that say that's not it that's it a 1950 Philly all right silver on the board let's keep it going I haven't found anything else yet be right back I'm working on roll 19 under the scope I have a 1970 with a proof reverse Again, you can tell that by the indentations in the flame. That's not on your uh, business strike. That was on the proof strike. And they used the proof reverse on 1969 and 70. I think it was 1969D and 70 P and D. So we get one of those. Let's keep her going. All right, just dumped out roll 23. And it looks like we have a foreign. Let's check that out. Maybe not. Maybe we had a silver in there somewhere. I thought that was a Canadian. It looked Canadian. Eighty. All right, let me pause it. Oh, there it is. I not thought so. We have the 85. 95. All right. Let's keep her going. I just tore open roll 43. And we got, looks like, four silvers. One, two, three. And an ender. So let me, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull these out of here without. Is this one of them? 1947, San Francisco. Oh, yeah, buddy. We got a Merc. What is that, 1918? Plain? Looks like a 1918. I'll double check that. Uh, 1953. Denver. Yeah, there's the other one, just the ender, right? That's a Denver. A 1960 Denver. All right. Let me uh, look through this roll a little bit closer. I'll be right back. All right. So that Mercury is actually a 1918 Denver. I didn't see that to begin with. We have 1918. Awesome. So we had a Merc and three Rosies in that roll. So let's keep it going. Maybe we'll find another one. Be right back. All right, I just poured out roll number 49, and there was something from, looks to be Singapore. 
I have never seen this one before. 1986. I haven't flipped it yet. Ten cents. That's different. It's kind of cool. Bring that in a little bit. All right. One more roll. See what we can find. All right. 50 rolls of dimes. $250 in customer wrapped rolls. Here's our finds. We have one 10 cent out of Singapore, uh, one out of Canada. We had three 1970s with the proof, proof reverse, all of them out of Philly. Four Roosevelt Silvers. We have a 1947 San Francisco, 1950 Philly. 1953 Denver, 1960 Denver, and we had our 1918 Mercury Dime, also right there out of Denver. All right, so that's actually a great dime hunt. Five silvers. We were lucky to get the one. We ended up with five. So let's get into the 20 rolls of quarters. I'll start that hunt out. I'll bring you in with the first find. Hunting roll 10 out of 20 of the quarters. And I have a Hopper's Ferry under the scope. And you can see doubling in these four windows right here. Actually pretty cool. I will uh, put the variety right underneath as I typically do. Let's find our next one. Be right back. Just pulled out roll 11, and it looks like we have a Canadian. And we do. It's a 2011. So I did also have an Acadia, which is low mintage. And we had a scumbaggery, but I had already pulled the roll out and dropped it onto the mat. Um, the roll did have $10 of quarters in it, so this was actually a positive penny. Let's keep it going. Be right back. All right, that's it for the quarters. Didn't turn out so great. We only had 20 rolls, though. We had our copper penny, 1961 Denver. Did not have... Um, any errors of varieties. We had one foreign, Canadian quarter, 2011. We had the two top low mintage, um, America the Beautiful quarters. We had the Acadia, not Acadia, I'm sorry, this is Chaco Culture, out of Philly. This is the Acadia, also out of Philly. And then we had our one Hoppers Ferry DDR. So that's it. That's it for our hunt. Dimes and quarters. I hope you enjoyed. We did end up finding five silver dimes, which is awesome. Uh, out of one box of dimes, customer wrapped. I'll take that any day of the week. Quarters didn't end up so great, but we only had 20 rolls. If you uh, stuck around for the whole hunt, thank you. If you're not subscribed but you keep coming back to watch, you might want to think about hitting that uh, subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so you do get notified on all of my upcoming videos. And uh, hit that like button. See you on the next one.